Stage 7 of the Volta a España and they ventured away from the Andalusia region and into La Mancha once again with searing sun and temperatures up to 34 degrees. Pozo Alcon, the destination, a first time hoster of a stage finish in the Volta a España and this is the 73rd edition of the race, a stage that provided plenty of challenges with more than 2,000 metres worth of climbing, two category three climbs and a difficult approach to the finish line. Tailwinds throughout the earlier part of the stage made for a quick day's racing with the average speed of more than 42 kilometres per hour as a breakaway group of seven were formed. The best placed rider in the general classification from the leading group, Michael Woods, the Canadian, with Education First Trap Pack, who had his challenges throughout the stage, including an early crash that that didn't prevent him from rejoining his breakaway companions. In the peloton, two teams doing the chasing. Group Armour FDJ supporting the overall race leader, Rudy Malar, looking comfortable in the red jersey. Also at the front was Marcus Burkhardt from Bora Hansgrower, hoping that they could set up the stage victory for the world champion, Peter Sagan. The leading group got up to a maximum lead of just on 3 minutes and 30 seconds, but as they approached the first climb of the day, the peloton was starting to close the gap down. To the base of the final climb, and there was a fall in the peloton. Tish Benut hit the deck, so too did Mitch Docker from Education First Draft Pack, as his teammate Michael Woods was trying to defy the odds and hold off the closing peloton. It wasn't to be for Woods. He was reeled in with just inside 13 kilometres to go, but importantly for his team, Rigoberto Uran was still in contact. At three kilometres to go, it was the Frenchman Tony Gallopin who hit the front, and Gallopin rode solo to the finish line to win the stage in convincing fashion. Gallopin with the stage victory, five seconds clear of Peter Sagan and Alejandro Valverde in a group that included the race leader, Rudy Mollard. For Tony Gallopin, continuing the success of the French. Uh, I look back just before the last corner, maybe 200 to go, 300. And then I saw nobody behind me. So I turn, I go full the last uh, straight line and then uh, 50 meters to the finish. Then I look back and then I see there was uh, quite far. So I know that, uh, that I can win. So, so it's fantastic. It was Buhani on stage six, Gallopin on stage seven and a Frenchman in red as well. Sagan was second on the stage. It was then Alejandro Valverde. In the battle for the red jersey, Rudy Millar continues to lead. But the man who lost the most time today of the real contenders, Mikhail Kwiatkowski, caught up with a fall in the back end of the stage. He conceded 30 seconds and has slipped outside the top 10 overall. Alamenda is the destination for stage eight, 195 kilometres, just the one category three climb throughout the stage. Another chance for the sprinters, but it will be a little challenging towards the end and no doubt a breakaway will try its luck. Rudy Malar can continue another day in red.